you want to see how I went from this to this continue watching hi friends welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know my name my name is Nana and if you're new to my channel you are welcome so today I just want to do like a chit chat video with you guys because I wanted to do my makeup so I got a PR package delivered last year in December it feels so crazy to say last year but I got a PR package from uh, Kix, which is like Sephora makeup, perfumes and stuff like that. That's what they sell there. And it's from Morphe. They got some new product or like they just launched uh, Morphe here in Norway. So in the PR box, I got the lip shade with nude attitude love bite gloss in boohoo and also a cream lipstick with the name fleur i also got like a beauty sponge for highlight and contour eyeshadow primer and everyday 335c blend the rules eyeshadow palette oh my god look at those colors and i also got brushes as you guys can see i already have on my base makeup so i'm not going to focus on any like foundation concealer and stuff like that we're just going to go straight to eye makeup and then lips at the end so i hope you guys are doing great it's been a minute or has it i've been uploading videos for you guys but i really hope that you guys had a wonderful new year eve and that you had a great start on the new year um, first of all, I'm going to go in with this uh, shade right here and this one. I'm going to blend these two together and like make a transition. I just want to just talk to you guys and hear how you guys are doing. Um, 2020 was a very hard year for a lot of us. It was a year that was different for a lot of us. Like no one saw what happened was going to happen like when it comes to the coronavirus and blm and the selection with biden and trump like it was just a lot happening in west africa and east africa as well um but to be honest a lot of stuff that was happening was basically happening way way before if you get what i'm saying like when it comes to like Black Lives Matter, it's been something that we've been fighting for many, many years. And the same goes uh, to what has been happening. You know, I need to change this brush. The same goes to the things that has been happening in uh, Africa. I just feel like since the world kind of had to pause for a second, people got the chance to like really see what was going on around the world so with that being said i feel like that was a very good thing i, I mentioned this in my mini vlog and um, the other day and i just feel like that was a very good thing you know that we got like the chance to reflect and stuff as i said and just really see what's going on in the world and like using our voices more and like knowing that our voice matter as well i don't want to talk that much about 2020 because i've already done that but now we are in a new year guys we are in a new year it's 2021 like 2020 went by quick 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 guys and i don't know what i feel about 2021 yet what about you guys what do you guys feel about 2021 what are you guys thinking about the year what are you guys doing i want to know because to be honest i haven't made any like big big plans for 2021 this year i'm basically just trying to do what i can do through social media i don't have a lot of big things i want to do this year because we are still in the pandemic first of all and we need to think about or i personally need to think about that first i really want to travel this year we are only like 12 days into the year and a lot of stuff have already been happening in america and that kind of affects the world as well just seeing how their trump's 
protesters went into the capital and stuff and see how white privilege is a thing. I already know that it is a thing, but I feel like it also really made people that don't feel like it is a thing a little bit more quiet, you know, because they can see the difference in how black people were treated versus white people, you know? And uh, I just get annoyed talking about it, to be honest. I had a conversation with my best friend in the DMs about this and I'm like, this year just started. It just started and all of this is already happening and we're still trying to fight the things that happened last year. It's just a lot of things, but um, it's good that people are opening their eyes and just seeing that this world really need change, you know? Yeah, that's basically what I have to say about that but i just feel like a lot more things are gonna happen this year i don't know if it's positive or if it's negative i just know that 2020 was just warming up for this year <laughs> that's what i feel but i'm not gonna put my energy that much into it what happens happens and we take it from there but i will try to just live my life the way i can live it and um, i don't have that many goals for this year either one thing i know for a fact is just i'm just gonna focus on me for now um which i always do the next shade i'm gonna go in with is this one right here i don't know the name sorry i'm just gonna put this one in the cut crease as i was saying i was talking about goals and stuff and what i know is that I want to focus more on my YouTube channel, that's for sure. I want to focus more on my YouTube channel, I want to talk more to you guys, I, want, I just want to have more chit chat videos and just talk about life and stuff. So that's what I want to do more this year. I want you guys to get to know me even more because I feel like some of you guys may know me but I feel like it's so much more to me that you guys don't know so I would love to like share more of me and like my journey and stuff and what I, what I do in my daily life and stuff like that and to be honest guys I had a lot of content that I made last year that I never posted it's just on private sitting there I don't know why maybe because I wasn't like I wasn't feeling the content that much but I promised myself this time that when I make content, even though it's not what I was visioning, it might be good for you guys, you know? And as long as I feel like somehow you guys might like it, then I will post it. Cause um, I just feel like when I'm watching it right now, I could have posted them. I might just post them later this year as well, if I wanna do that. But like, I feel like that's 2020, we, we 2021 now. It's new content, it's fresh content, okay? So we shall see about that, but anyways, I want to do more content with you guys this year. I want to um, focusing on not criticizing myself too much, being too hard on myself with what I make of content and stuff. I just want to have fun with it like I always do. Making content, guys, is my favorite thing to do. Just having a vision in my mind and then creating it, editing and stuff like that. I really like that and I just want to create a lot this year. I also would love to invest more this year, try to invest in something, in God willing and if this year let me. That's about it. Some of the goals that I just told you and just manifesting and just working towards where I want to be in life, you know, it's so many places I would love to travel. First of all, do you guys believe in manifesting? Comment down below what you guys think about it because I honestly believe in that and I've been manifesting a lot of things in my life and it has happened. But it's not like I just manifest, I work for it as well. You manifest something, you really believing in it, telling it to yourself a lot of times, like if you get a little bit fair around it, you should just make your conscious mind think positive of it and then continue working towards it and being consistent towards it. You need to manifest, but at the same time, you need to work towards your manifestation, you know? 
and I've seen a lot of things that had happened to me and other people that has been manifesting and I really believe in that so yeah I really want to know if that is something that you guys believe in as well other than that I would definitely love to travel oh my god I would I can't remember last time I was on a holiday when was the last time I think last time was when I was in UK like I don't see UK as holiday UK for me is always work so I want to go more to a warm place and just enjoy myself and that's been a really long minute since last time but I would love to travel but during this corona situation I don't know if, if I want to travel like I want to travel but is it is it a good thing to like travel right now am I wasting my money traveling even though I would like to be in another place and they do have their own restrictions in different countries and stuff I still feel like you don't get the same enjoyment because things are still closed you know it could be better if it wasn't for the corona so I don't know if I want to wait more until it goes a little bit more down before I travel definitely love to go back to Ghana and just I'm going in with um, my ritual mascara I really love this one I haven't been so into trolls makeup and stuff but hey their products are very good but like at least this mascara but yeah I've seen people enjoy their life especially in Ghana oh my god I really want to go back I'm from Ghana for, the, for those who don't know that but I really want to go back it's been so many years since I've been back home I think the last time was 2012 yeah, imagine 2012 and I haven't been back in my home country so that's definitely something I would love to do if I'm first going to travel a little bit far it's definitely going to be Ghana I want to go home and see my grandparents and just enjoy the way people are enjoying right now even though it's COVID wow it's a lot of enjoyment in Ghana wow I just want to be there and party with them and eat Ghanaian food and just enjoy the warm the music nothing is like home mama Africa nothing is like home guys wow I really want to go back but yeah people have really been enjoying themselves in Dubai and also in um, Ghana especially so I would love to go back home but for now we're gonna stay home here in Norway Oslo and grind that's what we're doing when it's corona and things are quiet we try to work the hardest you know the smartest for me personally this year is just about working making content and just making things happen you know so that when everything is back to normal your girl is ready that's that's what we're working on that is what we are working on mm. okay so let's move over to some lips I'm going in with love bite I don't know it's too this is too light for my lips first of all so we're gonna go to our number one favorite and that's chestnut because chestnut always saves a dark skin girl honestly I forgot to put on my lashes I'm just gonna put on the lashes real quick and then so the lashes are on I also forgot to mention that self-love is so important so like just taking more time for myself and stuff is something that i want to focus on as well i've always done that but i just want to focus more on it because i know how good it was for me doing like our first lockdown i just went uh, with my studio fix mac um, powder in the number n w 50 i haven't finished my lips yet so i'm gonna do that now i guess so as you guys know, I tried to go in with the Morphe Love Bite, but my lips was not having it. It was too light, so I went in with my favorite, as I said, which is chestnut. So it's a kind of mixture of chestnut and um, Love Bite at this moment. What was the name of this one? I really like it. 
this was boohoo guys this is so nice it really remind me of my uh, what's the name of this it just say 23 but it really reminds me of my lip gloss from mac that i really like but this wow juicy lips i love that let me go over with a little bit more chestnut should i maybe do something more yeah highlighter highlighter okay i'm gonna go in with i bought this one in arizona uh it's a morphe highlighter in mirage and mirage 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 yeah but it's broken guys so i don't use it that often but the color it, it's it's so nice need to be careful look at that i think that is that and I'm gonna finish it up with some setting spray. This is basically how my makeup turned out. I really like it, it's very simple. It didn't take that much time. Just wanted to come on here and just talk to you guys real quick while doing my makeup and showing you guys some product from Morphe. So with that being said, hope you guys had fun with me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye.